Obesity is a disease. Dr. Stephen Davis is an infectious disease expert at Baylor Scott and White in Irving. He's seen the challenges patients with obesity can face when battling COVID-19. Those that are severely obese often end up on the ventilator for a more extended period of time. Dr. Davis says a new study by the CDC supports what he's witnessed the past year. This study found obesity increases the risk of both COVID hospitalization and death. It's also a risk factor for invasive mechanical ventilation. The ability for their liver or heart to uh, tolerate those extra stresses is limited. The CDC study looked at a person's body mass index, or BMI, which is based on your height and weight. For example, a BMI over 45 corresponds to severe obesity. In those persons, there was a 60% higher rate of death from COVID. According to the CDC, obese adults, meaning their BMI is between 30 to 40, are at increased risk of severe illness from the virus that causes COVID-19. At the end of last year, the state prioritized this group of people. Anyone with a BMI of 30 or higher falls into vaccine group 1B. That's exactly how it is in Dallas County, too. Health and Human Services tells me they wanted to be consistent with the state. Meanwhile, the CDC says those who are overweight, meaning they have BMIs between 25 and 30, might be at an increased risk. Denton County says this is why their BMI requirement for group 1B eligibility is 25. Bottom line is Dr. Davis says he wants his patients to register for the vaccine wherever they can. Often they're embarrassed to seek care and uh, we need to encourage these people. In Irving, I'm Ariel Placencia.